afternoon. It's about uh, 2 o'clock. It's raining outside. It's getting colder out there and everything. So I thought I would start when to prepare dinner for tonight and something to go along with weather. So I've decided to do the old, old favorite. Everybody's heard of it. Everybody's eating it. Chili Mac. Chili and macaroni. Simplest thing in the world. Two ingredients. Except I'm going to kick mine up a little. I'm going to make it a chili dog. Uh, it'll be a little bit more. Uh, give it a little redneck flavor. You know, there's a little redneck in all of us, and it, it gets along awfully close to cowboy cooking. Uh, and it's keep it simple, keep it easy, make it good. So I'm going to make chili dog mac tonight. You know, I've made chili all of my life. I've made pot after pot after pot of chili. But if you look at a can, 15 ounces, that's call it a pound, it runs from $1.85 down. Uh, and you get down here to the great brand or great value of Walmart chili is 88 cents. One pound of ground beef is about two dollars and fifty cents. So there is no way that you can make chili for what you can buy it already canned. So I'm never, I guess I'll never make another can of pot of chili. But I'm going to make chili Mac for dinner tonight. While the water is coming up to a boil, I'm going to put the chili on in a pan to start warming. Get the spatula here. The butter here is on to come up to a boil for the spaghetti. And throw this in the trash. Easier to clean up now than later on the stove. Put that on the back burner to start warming. And it looks like the water here is about to boil. Well, the water is in a ro rolling boil, so. I'll put in about a teaspoon of salt here. It's the only chance you have to salt your pasta. And this is a cup of elbow macaroni. The reason it's a cup is because a half cup is a serving. And you put that in there and it says cook six to eight minutes. So I'm going to put eight minutes on the timer over here. Eight. Oh, and start. Now, <clears throat> the chili over there is starting to bubble a little, so it's heating. Turn that down. And uh, go let the macaroni cook now. The timer just went off and I tasted of the uh, spaghetti and it's just exactly right so I'm going to take it to the sink and dump it so it'll stop cooking. Okay, I'll dump it out of the strainer back into the pan. And turn that heat off. And now's the time to season it. So many people have never seasoned pasta once it's cooked, but I like to. There's a nice spoonful of garlic. In Italy, pasta is always seasoned. It's it's never served. Just cook it and dump it. Some black pepper. And 
and some EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. If you're going to cook, you might as well make it good. And mix all that around. Now that's ready to go into the bowl to put it all together. I'm going to set that on the back of the stove out of the way. You know, it'd be great if I had a place to, uh, big cabinet space to work on instead of the top of the stove here, but you work with what you've got. So now I'm going to put some pasta in my bowl. And Frida's bowl. Looks like it's working out about right on the amount. Catch this up here. Next on top of that goes the chopped up or chopped hot dogs. Smooth that down there. And on top of that, the chili. And I'm going to use most all the chili on it. It's only one can. That'd only be eight ounces of yeast each. Spread that out. It's always got to have some diced onions on it. Chili dog just isn't a chili dog without uh, diced onions. And of course, One right in the middle. Now 
Now that's going to the table and we're going to have an early dinner. It is uh, 4 o'clock and not the right time for that. We haven't had any lunch. We just eat breakfast Well, there and it is on the table and I almost forgot the most important part of it, the grated cheese on top. But I added that here at the table so it's on there now. Try this out here. Go right down in the middle to get a little of all of it here. You know, that's just so red heck. Even as teenagers and younger, we used to have, be, have a little redneck in us. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of my dinner here. Then I'm going to tell you a story. Well, that was enjoyable, and uh, so here's my story. The glider port where I hung out was an airport bum for about 10 years. Had a strict rule, no alcohol while the airport is in operation. And, uh, but when the hangar doors closed, that Drinking meant the lamp peace. was lit, and, uh, people could gather in on the patio, on the clubhouse deck, and, uh, kind of unwind for the day. Some of the crowds were only three or four people, others, other times there would be fifty or a hundred people there. Uh, and it varied from time to time. <clears throat> but this particular time, there was these two guys seated across from each other. Both of them were ranchers, both of them were well-to-do, well, well-to-do. And uh, happened to be sitting there on the table was a gallon jug of pickled scotch bonnet peppers. Now, Sabrina, who lived up on the hill there, thought she was getting uh, Greek peppers to pickle at when she put up that gallon of peppers, only to find out she had a, a gallon of fire there. So she just brought them to the glider port, figured that people, that somebody's going to eat them. <clears throat> but anyway, these two guys, they were best of friends uh, on the ground as a rule. But you put them in sailplanes in a soaring contest, and there was there was a certain amount of animosity, and I think some of it flowed over there, and uh, I don't know how the subject came up, but uh, they were talking about a shot of Jack Daniels and one of those pickled peppers, one of those Scotch bonnet peppers. And this one reached in his wallet and pulled out a hundred dollar bill and laid it on the table there and said, okay, let's make this interesting. The other one reached in his wallet and he came out with five of them. And he says, let's really make it interesting. So he matched it and there was a thousand dollars laying there on the table on a bet on eating uh, one of those peppers and taking a shot of Jack Daniels. And they were going to do that back and forth until one of them gave up, gave up and the other one would be the winner. And uh, it was it was going along. They had everybody's attention, and it was going along. I don't know how many. Not not many had taken place, and this one guy scratched his eye with his finger that he had been picking up pickles. He jumped up, ran over several people, and ran to the shower to to uh, wash his eye out, 
And uh, when he came back soaking wet and sat down and he shoved the money over to the other guy and he says, there you are, he said, I can't go any further. And the other one says, I'm not going to let you wimp out like that. And he divided and pushed half of it back. And he says, when you get ready to have me here, try me again, come see me. So that ended that, and, but it became the famous pepper eating bourbon drinking contest at Black Someone Forest. was standing there said, you know, I think a better way for that to have been settled was let them drop their pants and get out of ruler. So God bless America, God bless Texas, and where did you ever see a barn better than this one? Bye.